Yeah, so did you guys have any curious uh, what they eat? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so can you share with us? Um, when I tried um, opening things, it wasn't responding. But I don't know, maybe it's the, like, maybe it's a general issue. But my other experience is with um, broadband router, MTN. I've been having issues like subscribing on my own. So most times I'm always sending the money to maybe their MTN agents. And going through that um, route is always very difficult because I have to wait for the guy to pick calls sometimes. The issue is that they have options for subscription um, payments at the back of the router here. So once I try, um, there's this option of um, their website. So that one I tried using it yesterday. It will the functional, the functional aspect will respond to the point of maybe making payments. Then if you just keep rolling, rolling, it will stop. Then you won't even drop any not notification that okay, your payment is successful. It is not going through or nothing. It will just stop at that point. So the other um, option of um, linking your MTN with your MTN number with the router's number, that one too will get to a point. It will just keep rolling. It will even go through. So like that's my exact. I I think the the that aspect is maybe the functional aspect of the applications. Maybe they didn't test it well. Mm. So that was just my experience here. Yeah. Well, it could be a network issue though. It's not network. There has not been a network issue since I've been using that router. Those um, options have never, never, ever gone through. It's, I think it is an issue from MTN because the network is okay. I, I, I will try to do other things and the network is going through. So it's not a network issue. It's the application issue. So, but really, I don't know how those agents, guys. I don't know. I don't know how they not even help me subscribe. But I know it's all through those other routes that I've been trying. Mm, because yes, I've gone this. to MCN office and we've tried, uh, and I tried them um, doing it in front of them, and they'll be like, "Eh, this one has been having issues like that for a while, over so yeah. many months now, and it has never gone through before." They they should have they should. They should have actually found a way to. They should have found a way to resolve that issue. I'm sure you're not the only one that that came up with those uh, feedback. That came up with that feedback. Yeah, but they are yet to even provide solutions to this because it's still that way over months now. Mm. I think they need to work on that that device. Is that they recall that device? Although it, it will cost money for them. They should recall that device and rect rectify it. Okay, thank you, Mabipe. Any other person? Hello. Hello. Uh, I, I had challenges with my first bank app. That was last week. And um, I was trying to use this soft token. And I just noticed that for some days it went off. I thought it was a general issue. And I was still, I was just trying to, you know, payment exceeding 500. I, I was being patient, not until I was able to get through to, to a branch and the 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 bank donate and the, the the problem still persisted and later they resolved it so i was it, it now done on me that it's as if maybe an an enterprise or an out an organization like first bank it's as if maybe they don't tend to maybe they are they are testers maybe or is it testers or i don't know is it developers or i don't know maybe they don't do background checks maybe time to time in terms of the integration testing or the unit testing or integration test whereby 
you have to look at how those modules you know they work together because by the time you are trying to do payments exceeding 500 the 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 app should take you the the app will take you to the token to the token module whereby they now have to work together so it's as if and i i was now wondering is it is it a generation because if it's for all customers globally then i think that outfit should really work on that you know aspect of it if you have millions if you have millions of subscribers using your app or your soft token and this there's that issue and you are, you are just quiet about it you are not doing anything so i think it was not until i raised that issue then one of the it guys in that particular branch was able to go to the back end to work on it and it was really disappointing because it took for like a week and there were lots, lots of things outstanding and you know loss of time money and so many things and it's, it's, it wasn't really fair that was my experience. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, well, like I told you, what what I wanna what is the one what I wanna do? Uh, sorry. One of the principles of testing, right, speaks to this actually. So, if this uh, particular scenario was not tested right all feedbacks all feedbacks are taken back to the engineering team on which will be worked on so that's actually how systems improve do you understand so testing is uh, inexhaustible right so whatever issues like so we have what, we have what is called bug creep right so whatever bug mm. drifts into production, right, comes up as users experience them and it's worked on. It goes to the bug life cycle. Do you understand? Yeah. Mm. Now that we even preferred the solution, but I don't think I have. I don't think I have any solution to that. So, but as you guys, as you guys saw those problems, did you think of any solution that could come up? Like you said, um, uh, testing is in inexhaustible. I think there has to be, um, I don't know if there's this kind of testing whereby it should be done maybe periodically maybe like mobile like bank apps and the likes those guys in charge of it the professionals to from time to time carry out tests maybe is it penetration test or which of the tests will they do whereby to see not until they begin to get feedbacks from the users or will they, will, will they always will, will professionals always rely on on users feedback before they can uh, debug and you know to find solution to certain to issues uh, and but then again see if you not encountered you no know, like i told you now that when you're testing you're testing techniques you think of scenarios right so with different scenarios you're able to get your different test cases so if you've not of Thought of a scenario, right? You won't be able to. Are you with me? Yeah. Scenario. You won't be able to, yeah. If, if you've not thought of a scenario, right, you won't be able to uh, find the bug. So the more scenarios you think of, the more the more bugs you find, and you can you can you can find all the scenarios, right? Hmm. So yeah. now, like you said, periodic test too. It should help mm -hmm. so periodic testing should help you can do integration integration tests and perform pen, penetration testing as well just like you said but penetration testing is more of a what's it called security mm. no security now we're doing eye eye traffic 
Mm, penetration testing is security. What you are talking about is uh, load testing, mm. performance testing. Do you understand? Yes. All you are talking about is performance testing. So we have under performance testing, we have load test, spike test, volume test. Do you understand? Mm. So testing the load, that's testing the application under the expected load, testing the application when there's a sudden spike, right? Like there's a sudden surge or sudden use of the system, testing the uh, application based on outside the expected volume of of uh, of of users so that's just performance testing just to see the response the behavior of the system under load and pressure okay thank you is not here okay all Okay, so where did we stop last class? Were you guys able to do the assignment? Yeah. We tried. We continued the evil assignment, but we're not done. We're supposed to meet several, but apparently we were busy at current time. So yesterday, I wanted us to meet. That was when I just, no, on Thursday, I was going to go through it. So I'll contact the other. For us to me, that was when I discovered um things was messing up like on Thursday, yesterday, same thing. That was the first one. But to some extent, we've done the assignment to some extent, but we are not done yet. Did you guys meet on Saturday, last week Saturday? We didn't meet. That was that would have been the best opportunity for you guys to meet. Because you guys had you guys had two weeks. You guys had two weeks. I want us, I want to see there, there are things we need to learn. Mm -hmm. I think there are still things we need to learn. I don't want us to dwell on, on this particular one. I don't want us to dwell on this particular one. Or well, maybe we should take um, we should start um, the API testing, then maybe in our spare time we can complete the assignment and go and do a revision of it. Uh, maybe so maybe probably since this particular assignment is on us here, would pay time to uh, um, the assignments then when we would send it to you well uh, you maybe when you are anytime during the week we just so instead of having um that same assignment on our saturday class no i wasn't even planning i wasn't even planning on on doing the assignment with you guys in class because i expected you guys would have finished and maybe i'll just review yeah so before we move into uh, api test before we move to api test uh have i given you guys the evil thing or it's just the test plan and the test cases you guys have done have i given the url no no, no, no you're not okay Oh, come I'm not going to 
Amen. Come so I think there's another thing that I need to also show you guys. I'm coming. Ah, why my system hanging? That's strange. Hello, are you guys with me? Yes. yes. So, yeah, so one, one, the, what I was talking about was the uh, test plan. Do you guys know how to build a test plan? Test plan. Yeah. Is test plan same as test um, case? No, it's not the same. Let's mm -hmm. get, get it different from, from that. So I'll, I'll, I don't know if I sent it documents on that. Mm -hmm. So, I've gotten I got a test plan template for you guys, right? Um, okay. I'll be sharing that with you. I'll be sharing that with you. I don't think you can share. Hello, Genesis. Hello, Genesis. Okay, uh, Modupe, I will send it to you, right? Sorry, and, okay. I'm lightning, yeah. you're calling me. Yeah, I see that you can send files through Google Meet. Oh, yes, yes, you can. Just if you can share on WhatsApp with them. That'll be yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. Okay. So my friend, let me send it across to them. Okay, can you guys see my screen? I sent it again. Can you guys see my screen? Mm 
Can you see it now? Yes. You mean the template? Oh. Yeah, the template. Yes. Try and download. Okay, see my screen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you see. Introduction. Okay. Test plan. Yeah. So in the test plan, depending on the environment that you're in, right? Depending on the environment, that's some that's some what's it called? That's some uh there are some topics that might not be applicable to to your environment. But with this template, right? I'll just discuss, I'll just briefly discuss what is expected in a test plan. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah, so now first and foremost, you must have an introduction, right? So the, the title of the project will be in the first page, right? You can, you can have a change log just to monitor the document, the changes in the document. Then we have table of contents, are you with me? So now in your introduction, you are basically meant to introduce the project. Do you understand? Yeah. Are you? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you are basically introducing the project. Why we have in the project? What what problem is it solving? You understand? So this this mostly you can get from a, a BRZ. Are you with me? So you can get the definition, the introduction from a BRD or FRD. It's mostly there. But if you have a knowledge of how it is, you can you can uh, enter it yourself. Mm -hmm. So for example, e voting app, right? So you can introduce that okay, this is um this project is meant to uh, automate the the process of uh, a voting a voting activity, right? So now why are you having that voting activity? And why are you having it automated, right? It, it makes uh, everything easy, right? And reduces, uh, ah, what is it? The time frame involves in a actual voting. Everybody can vote at the same time. Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. So just in a brief introduction of the project. Then the next one, right? You are talking about the scope of the project. You are talking about the scope of the project. So the scope of the project is like you are defining all the features that you are meant to test in the in the project, right? So this this information too, you can also get it in your BRD or FRD, right? So you can you'll be able to list out the features that are that are very important for you to test, right? And also the, the requirements, both functional and non-functional requirements that will be tested, you can list them here. Do you understand? But I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I want you to stick to, are you with me? Yes. I want you to stick to features. Because when you start listing out functional and non-functional non requirements, it will make the document bulky. So what you can do is list out the features, then you can now say, you can now do a link reference, right? You can do a link, link reference to the FRD for the functional and non-functional requirements. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So you can just say, uh, see, see BRD for more information <clears throat> on functional or non-functional requirements. CBRD or FRD for more information on functional and non-functional requirements, or you can list out those features. 
list them out and then define them. Do you understand? So now with with in scope define what what do you think will be inside out of scope? Non functional. No. What will be inside out of scope? You realize that that won't be tested. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Non functional will be tested now. Yes. Non functional will be tested. So there are some features that so for example, an e-voting app now. Hmm? So I think uh, what I should have done was introduce into uh, have I shown you guys the Jira board? No. no. Oh okay. yes, you have the last class we had now. Okay, I showed you guys the Jira board. Uh yeah, on the surface, yes, you did. Yeah. yeah. So now what what the next thing you guys are going to do, right? You've built your test case for the e-voting app. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so what you guys are going to do next, right, is to update your test test case document with the Jira board. Okay. okay. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you update the test case document that you have. I want you to get. I want you guys to get used to being able to build a test document updating your test document where necessary because it's actually very important also a test plan is important too right so test case document is is a guide it's an actual guide for for whoever is testing so now when you get access to the jira board yeah you now notice that there are a lot of features that you have captured inside your test case documents that are out of scope. Are you with me? So for example, right? For example, even some items in the Jira board now, some of them are actually out of scope because what was eventually developed, right? What was eventually developed based on resources, and availability of resources to, to go, go through what was initially planned, right? So a different a different approach was taken so now with that for example now let me use this for example when you are trying to onboard uh, voters right remember what we said about voters Hello. yeah we are with you when you are trying to bring in voters on the platform what what approach did we say what approach do the requirements indicate? Are you with me? Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Isn't Fumi is trying to call me? I don't know if I pick a call with the. Will I go off? I don't know. I think so. Because when I tried calling her earlier, the um the meeting went off. I think when you tried to call, when you tried calling Femi, you also went off. Yes. Uh, no, 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 I didn't call him. I sent it to WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Okay, so as I was saying, one of the requirements about onboarding voters as an admin or what onboarding voters on the platform is uploading the document do you guys remember yes yeah so that was that was the form that was the the manner or that was the approach we wanted to take right or due to inavailability of resources right we 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 took another route where you come on. Are you with me? Yes. Or you come on board and you uh, uh, you sign up yourself. Do you, you understand? So now that is that uh what's it called? That's sorry, I'm looking for the link. So that particular yeah, so that particular uh requirement now, that particular feature of uploading is now out of scope. Mm -hmm. 
So out of scope will be things that might be related to the project, but we are not testing, right? Are you with me? Yes. yes. You guys are not being responsible. Should I, should I ask questions? <laughs> that means you are not understand. If you understand, you gladly receive the challenge. It said out of scope and featured in the app that will not be tested. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there are features that there are features that they are not applicable to that project that, that, that we are not going to be testing. So it can be in the project or it can come up with something that might be related to it, but we are not doing it. So for example, right, let's say for uh, not thinking too much about this, right? In scope features and out of scope features should be listed out in other documents. That's your requirements document, FRD or BRD. Are you with me? Yeah. So, but however, if it's not listed there, you can ask questions about them. But you can't ask questions about in scope because if you're asking questions about in scope documents, it means you don't understand what is going on. So in scope is is uh, virtually what we are going to be testing. What we are going to be testing in this project. So you should know the features. And if you meet anybody to give you the features that are in scope, they will refer you to the functional requirement document. Do you understand? So okay. before we don't really know what to put there, you can meet with the team and ask that okay, what are the features that are currently out of scope on this project? Do you understand? Do you have any questions before we move to the next? Yeah. There are features that are out of scope. And why is it included? For example, of um, features that can be out of scope in an application. Uh, hello, did you? Hello? Hello? Did you hear me? Wait, was that a question? You wanted to list out the features that are out of scope? I wanted you to even list it out. Like I was asking, like examples are and why are features that are not going to be inclusive in the application um, yeah. going to be part of the out of scope? Did you get the example I gave for e voting? I didn't hear you. I guess that was anything was trying to call me. I didn't hear. You. Yeah, okay, so for e-voting app, right, I asked that, what was the form of uh, registering voters on the platform? Um, there, was a, um, there was eligible list of voters. Where you upload on the platform, right? Yes. yes. So I now told you that later on, when it was developed, due to inavailability of resources, right, uh, that particular form, right, was no longer used. Mm -hmm. it was no longer you so people just come to the platform and you register that okay. is what was now used now that's that uh that's the particular requirement that particular upload feature is now out of scope okay you understand yeah, it will no longer be tested it will no longer it will, no, it will not be developed so you can think or think of other things okay uh, out of scope is you being able to uh, uh, ah. so you being able to send you as a voter being able to send uh, the result are you with me yes being able to send results to to, so, to to a social media platform is out of scope Hey, yeah, yeah. Like that, for example, um, 
perfect example. Well, initially, the person is unable to send results um to social media platform from the beginning or the run it happened. The person was able to before then could not uh, do that anymore. Sorry, I didn't get that. You said being able to upload results on social media platform is an example of out of scope. Was that what you said? Yes, yes. Okay. So in the beginning, is it that the person was able to upload results on social media platform before then maybe later the person was unable to no i'm saying i don't think you get this out of scope okay look at are you with me yes i'm here look at it this way you want to build a house okay. a bungalow right so now in that bungalow, maybe just like a one bedroom, right? Okay. Can you have a fish pond inside a one bedroom? No. Is that a scope? Okay. Um. Uh, I'm I'm looking for other things that could be out of scope. actually a one bed can have stairs so it's very possible uh something that is 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 related to the particular project that we are doing but we are not doing it do you understand okay now, in, so now in the house or in the in the in the house right you can get a fish pond you can get a jacuzzi you can get um pool. You say the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, you can get a swimming pool, but it's not uh, it's not part of the plan of this house that we are building. It's out mm -hmm. of scope. Yeah. Do you understand, Mulupe? Yes, yes, I get it. Yeah. So it's like saying, okay, we are planning to travel to Europe, right? We are planning to travel to Europe. So that's uh, Germany, France, Poland, and likes, and Someone says, "Are we traveling to uh, 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 India? Are we traveling to India? That's out of scope. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's still yeah. related. It's still related to uh, destination traveling, destination vacation, right? But mm -hmm. it's not in line with the plan of us traveling to countries in or, Europe. Or can we say coverage?" coverage area yes co you can say coverage area so our coverage area is also the same thing as saying in scope so is that is out of co is out of our coverage area it's also out of scope you understand yes okay so now that you understand can you give me an example it can be anything mm. Okay, um, for example, um, you know some restaurants now, yeah, you don't, um, you can place your other uh, apps online. Um, and some have features of maybe, for instance, and um, at the long run, when you've placed your order, you can still maybe um, place another order again while while you've already placed an order initially. Um, could out of scope be maybe? Am I? I think I'm already mixing it up. See, using that same example, right? Using that same example, in a restaurant, let's say we have um, a local 
cuisine restaurant. Are you with me? Yeah. So when you go to a local cuisine restaurant and you're asking for Chinese rice, jambalaya rice, is that in scope or out of scope? In scope because you are meant to. Hmm? I can't hear you. Come oh, again. Okay, a local restaurant and you're facing order for um... ah. I wanted to tell you to go and meet go to no. Mama Put. <laughs> go to Mama Put now and ask her for jambalaya rice or Chinese rice and see hear the response. <laughs> mm. It's out of scope because okay. it's called a local cuisine. Do you understand? Yes. So, but assuming it's an international cuisine restaurant, uh, in, is it what, what is it called? Continental Continental restaurant or continental dish? So now that is expected to have different dishes from different continents. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. So, do you understand the concept of autoscope? okay it is related to it right but we are not doing it so now in the restaurant restaurant is food business right jamalaya rice is food chinese rice is food but it's not applicable to a local cuisine okay let me just say features that are not applicable to the project features are Do you understand? Femi, do you understand? Yes. I, uh, I, okay, let's let's move on. Let me assume you guys on that. You understand, right? Yes. Okay. So now the next is quality objective. Whose screen is this? Is this my screen? Mm -hmm. Wow. So quality objective. So here you are. Basically, you can use what is here. So, we are to make mention of the overall objective that we plan to achieve without with our testing. Hey, I, do we have any mistakes here? Some objectives of some objective of your project is project of your testing project. Yeah. So, do you have any mistake? It's only calling. Are you all finished? Hello, yeah. are you guys with me? Tell me you are distracted. Hello. So now with the objective, right? What is the objective of our test? Based on what I've taught you guys. What we want to do, what kind of test do we want to do? We are doing a system test, a, an end-to-end -end test. Right? So what are the objectives? Okay. Right, so the AUT conforms to the functional and non-functional. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, aside this ones here, guys, uh, uh, what is it called? Testing types, right? And the and the objectives. So now what we are doing here is called system test, end to end test. What are the objectives? Um, is it? The app is okay. in... No, you have to make it sound like you are in. Okay, we want to we want to add it to these objectives. Okay. Mm, to ensure the application is bug free. And this is it now. Or is it not related to this? Bug issues are identified and fixed before go live. Okay. It's still the same thing. Ensure that defects are defects are identified and fixed. Okay, the same thing. Thank you. Yeah. 
you okay in terms of the user first of all what is the objective what is the objective of testing some of them have been listed here mm. I mean, you guys have forgotten. Um, to ensure that end results should meet um, the business requirements and user and requirements. The specification. And that's the first one. Ensure that the application actually conforms to functional requirements. Okay. Mm. You guys have that documents, right? What document? Objectives of testing. Slide. Yeah. So open the document and get go to team. the topic objective of testing. Oh, it's on Teams. You guys didn't download it on your laptop. Mm, no. Ha, that was dangerous. So. And That's the so you only read it online. That means that means you don't read it outside the outside the right. outside mm -hmm. the class. Um, no, whenever I want to read, I go to Teams. But and that's that is even wrong because since when Teams are I've been messing up now, I'm unable to access those documents. Mm. I think it was of recent that Teams started acting up. What I'm saying okay. is, even with even with assignment itself, right? You guys were busy, busy, too busy to meet up, right? So yeah. my my own is I'm doing analysis now. Okay. It seems just started up of recent. The assignments you guys were meant to do, you guys were too busy to meet up to complete the assignment too. Now, if that is that, right, and you claim that the document you you only read it when you come online and you guys are too busy to do the assignment or finish finish up with the assignment how can you convince me that you add time hmm, to go to teams and read it online most times when i want to read i go to teams and read whatever online so i shuffle between teams and maybe google and youtube so mm. i think I could even download them um, these um, documents, even not now that you are saying it, I can download it on your system. So most times when I want to study, I study on Teams. I open up Teams and I use those documents. When you gave us all the assignments, even like all those BRD documents and FRD documents, it is on Teams. It is not downloaded. So even times when we had to meet um for the assignments, I shuffle between the document. I open the document and open Excel. Do it or stretch. I would have. I didn't even know that um, one could download the documents on. I would have done that. So not like I've we've not been studying. I have been so, but I do it on Teams. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me send. Let me look for the PowerPoint slide. However, next class, before we continue with our API testing class, right? Next class, I'll be testing you guys on everything that we learned. Okay. Uh, did you see anything now? Did I drop anything now? Where? Okay, yes, I think Okay, so <laughs> please open a document and go to objectives of testing. 
you don't need much just let's say five you need more than these three to evaluate work products such as requirements user stories design and code to verify all specified requirements have been fulfilled should i continue so, No. Hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry. Close the windows, rain is about to enter. Okay, yeah. So, did you get the objectives of testing? Mm -hmm. To build confidence in the level of quality of the test, exactly. ensure, oh, yeah, ensure to ensure confidence in the level of quality of the test objective. Okay, ensure confidence mm -hmm. in the level of test in the level of quality of the test objective um, is not confidence in the level of quality of the test object reduce the risk of Reduce the level of risk of inadequate software quality. No, no. Am I correct? Ensure confidence in the level of quality of the AUT. Am I correct? Yes. Yes, AUT. Yeah, okay. So ensure. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Femi. To, to reduce the level of risk. Ensure. Ensure. To ensure. To ensure. No. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Ensure. Ensure. Mm -hmm. Ensure the reduction in the level of risk in, in, in the soft in the AUT quality. The level of risk in the AUT, AUT quality. So that's it. You can see that everything that you need to build the test plan, you have it already. So let's just go with these five qualities. So one is speaking to requirements. One means to quality specifications. Confidence of the quality, bugs, reduction of risk. Now the next one is roles and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, depending on the environment that you are, you might not, you might have a QA analyst and your test manager. 
but there may not be configuration manager, you might have developers, you might have product, product manager, product slash project manager. Hmm? You can have business analyst or implementation implementation manager. You understand? Are you guys with me? Yes. That's how they put amongst others. So what you you have to uh, indicate the people involved, the teams in the teams involved in this project. You understand? So next one is our uh, test methodology. So you remember our test methodology, right? Yes. So which methodology are we using? For this, we should. Agile. You are inside that document too. I see you have that document with you. We are using Agile. So now they now say they now said mention the reasons why. Ah, do I need to? No, I don't need to. It's a template. So Agile. So agile. Now, what are the reasons why we are adopting agile? It has to do with the time, the time, the resources. So you know what? Please read, read, read up on agile very well. Mm -hmm. Read up. <laughs> read up on agile very well hmm? list yeah. out the reasons why agile is widely used why agile is i don't want you to use idea hmm? based on what i've taught you guys hmm? you can pick the reasons for what i've mentioned and coin it into an english word uh, in english proper english phrase or to make it easier for you you can you can browse reasons why agile is used in, a, in an organization then you get the reason for adopting this methodology do you understand hello uh, hey hey do you understand what i said yes yes uh, so now the test levels what test level are we using You know, mm -hmm. you need you need testing to integration to this system that like no. that. Yes, I'm talking about that you will be conducting because this test plan is for that for a test project. So what level what type of tests? System. Okay. System testing. What else? Mm. Mm. Regression. Does that what, what type of testing is regression? Does regression fall under? That's black box. No, no, no. black box. Black box is system testing. In fact, that system testing, you still need to break it down. You understand? You still need to break it down. So now I like you know, like I told you guys now, I said regression testing can fall under a particular testing type. Component testing. No. Is that test type or test level? Okay, that's level. Okay, you're asking of types now. Mm, I'm asking of types that you guys know. What we are going to be putting here is test level. But I'm asking you for types. 
Ah, types. There are lots of, so many, so many. So many. Oh, okay. yeah, now you say so many. <laughs> there is white box, functional, non functional, white box. Femi is using an idea so that I can quickly open the book. Then you know, as I say, so many. So many. <laughs> So now, that functional and functional again. It's stem test now. The stem test, yeah. Mm, so when you break it down, you now break it down into functional and non-functional tests. So what type of test does regression test fall under? A system test. Umba. Regression is non-functional. Umba. Or from regression. Oh. Regression. That's change related test. Thank you. That's it. Change. Mm -hmm. So now what you can do is what you can do is this, right? You can you can measure your test levels with your test types. So now we have integration tests, right? API testing. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? You have integration test, you can say API testing. The system test, you now put, uh, okay, you know what, let's do it this way. Integration testing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So whatever testing you're trying to do, please, you have to be conscious of timeline. Huh? So API testing using Postman. Then now, what's the next one? System testing. I'm testing. Hmm? And we have under system testing. What do we have? Regression. Like, um, function. Non-functional. Uh -huh. This is why I did it. Mm. Acceptance. Yeah, the only acceptance testing that we are we are going to be doing is UAT. You know what UAT means? User user acceptability. You no know, user acceptance test. Acceptance. You guys understand? Mm. So we now have. I don't just cut out this thing. We have bug triage. So the goal of the triage is to define the type of resolution for each bug, to prioritize bugs and determine a schedule for all to be fixed bugs. So do you understand what this means? Mm -hmm. hmm? I think it has to do with the bug life cycle. Yes. So now you know what they are saying now is define the type of resolution for each book. So when they say type of resolution, do you understand? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What do they mean? Mm, the size, the impact, the impact or the size. Mm, I didn't get that. I said the impact, or can we say the size or the magnitude? Mm -mm. What about you to say something? Yeah, solution for how to solution for each bug. Sorry, I'm coming. 
give me like two minutes. I think the washing machine, the washing machine and dryer. Make it turn to my the washing machine and dryer. Make it. Make it. Why check the washing machine? Come on. Thank 
Are you okay, Jimmy? Yes. Sorry, my light went off. So my internet is connected to my light, so. Okay. I'm trying to dry, Uncle. Sorry. No, I'm going to the dry. Can you guys hear me? Hello, Mudubai. Yes, yes, okay, I hear you. I'm here. What's the question? I should try and drive. Hello. This one. Hello. Hello.
tango. Hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know I was muted. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, so the type of to define the type of resolution for each bug, what does it mean? It basically refers to providing solution uh, when a bug is found, diagnosing the bug, testing, um, fixing, uh, fixing the bug. Go forward. Go forward. What do you mean by diagnosing the bug? Identifying where the bug is or what the bug is. Mm. Like identifying what the issue is, where the bug is, or. Mm. Okay, so, well, uh, based on my finding, what you guys are meant to say or do in that aspect is this let me just paste it Can you guys see my screen? Yes. So do you understand yes. what, what I wrote here? Do you understand what, I, what is written here? Goal of it is to define the type of reservoir is bulk, fit, bulk, duplicate. Well, who is that? Since does not like long classes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that? You put that actually in bulk. So do you understand what this is? Mm -hmm. So you are, you are defining the type of resolution that is being done. Mm -hmm. So now, when the bug is fixed, right, it's indicated that it's fixed, then you test. But if it's a workaround, it's just a temporary solution, right? Mm -hmm. Then if it's a duplicate, that means it has been mentioned previously and it's been repeated again. Mm -hmm. 
Also, it's not a bug. Also, not a bug. Won't fix. It means the bug is being acknowledged, but it's not significant, right? To warrant immediate fixing and all that. So we can say this this will be classified as low priority bugs. So postponed till later dates to be fixed. User error. So better issue can be caused by user error as a software bug. So let, let's say user error now. You are not doing what you are meant to do, right? And it's causing this as a user. You are not doing what is expected of you to do. That's what's causing this user error. Then this one unable to reproduce external dependency enhancement. So that is you classifying your bugs, right? You understand? Yes. So this is just you being able to classify classify the bugs. Do you guys understand? Yes. Yes. And also, also, I was expecting if you guys had even mentioned the very important ones, it would have even been better. So now, when you have a bug life cycle, what are the status? Mm -hmm. What is the flow? What's the, in fact, what is the flow of your work like, bug life cycle? Open. So what does open mean? A bug has been found and it's been opened to be rectified. Huh? Next one. Tell me. Bug life circle. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't oh, we're going to move my side for reproduction. Is it the stages? Yes, the yeah, the workflow for bug life cycle. Well, life cycle. Okay. I think there's after identification, there's reproduction. No, no. Identification, <laughs> production, analysis, resolution, and closure. Uh, you didn't use the actual state, you didn't use the actual status, you just gave. You just gave uh, what was it called? It's just way for you to remember. But the actual name given for each 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 status. Hello, can you help out, please? Yeah, um, think nothing. I think this to be assigned to a developer to look into it. Okay, next one. And yeah, the next day, fix. Okay, we already have fix. Next one. Okay. Um, if it has been fixed, it will be closed. If not, it will be reopened. So do you understand now, Femi? Mm. I think this fix should come after 
assign. Assign where? Then you have fill. So this is you defining the solution. You understand? I mean, I'm defining the resolution. So you can have other, you can have other status, right? Maybe after it's being fixed, you can say fixed, or you can, once you open assign, you can have duplicate, or you don't even need to assign, you can just have duplicate, or walk around, not a bug, won't fix, you understand those are the yeah. types of solution you have for your bug now the next one to prioritize bugs and determine a schedule for all the for all to be fixed bugs did i tell you about prioritizing bugs yeah. okay what are the yeah. priorities Hello guys, how far now? Nobody's responding. You said prioritizing bugs. Uh -huh. mm. well, I don't, we don't From here, I can see that there are about how many steps here? There's a st about three steps collect information. Assign value to each bug and future requests. Outcome driven innovation. Okay, I think is it is it not under is it performance testing? Okay. Yeah, but you have severity and power rating. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, I didn't get what you said. No, I was trying to relate it to performance testing, whether you have severity and parity. Yes, that is it now. That is you prioritizing the box now. It's not just for performance test too. It's for all the bugs that you find. Yeah, all bugs. Okay. So whereby the level the how severe determines that you compare it with the power the parity you have to give it maybe if it's a high if um what is it, what's that the power the severity if the severity is high then it must have it must, it must be given high parity okay you know what i think what we need to do is we need to understand the difference between severity and parity mm. Do you, do you know what, what the, the difference is? Mm, yeah. mm? So very has to do with impact of the of the bug or the defect on the app on the AUT. While the uh, the urgency, the timing, how the response time, how you respond. So I think severity is classified into about four. There's the critical high, medium, and low. Parity 
P1, P2, and P0, or P3, whereby. Wait, which, to... which internet? I said which internet? Which... Um... Mm. I wanted to ask that which uh, which site are you getting that one from? <laughs> no, it's just about further reading. Mm, because there's nothing like P1, P2, P3. <laughs> so, what I yeah. can okay go on priority is a term that defines how fast we need to fix a defect severity is basically a parameter that denotes the total impact of a given defect on any software priority is basically a parameter that decides the order in which we should fix the defect severity relates to the standards of quality Mm. Oh, oh, what is like defect, defect fixing urgency? Uh -huh. It speaks to scheduling. Do you understand? It speaks to scheduling. So if a developer wants to work on, on a bug, right? A, a developer won't work on severity. He won't look at severity. A developer will look at priority. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. mm. So, but for severity, severity speaks to the degree of the bug, right? The, the impact, impact of the bug. Do you understand? Yes. So that's just it. And parity has three levels. That's low, medium, and high. Mm, that's why that's why I call it P one two three. Just about the the acrimony or the tagging. And. Severity speaks to the degree of the bug, yeah? Mm -hmm, yeah, it speaks to the degree of the bug. And I think there are about four classifications, the, the critical, high, medium, and low. Hey, come on, this way, man. Jesus is God. That, um, that BRD for that evil thing that um, mm -hmm. asked us to work on, you know, on yeah. that, the um, high level requirements part at the end of that um, table, we had yeah. high, medium, low. Is that speaking to the, is that speaking to this? Are you speaking to priority, not bugs. Priority, it's priority of uh, the requirement to be worked on. Mm, not bugs, not bugs. No bugs. He's speaking to what? Like, you know, you're like saying, you know, like saying you want to prepare food now. You want to? Uh, why am I using food? Maybe because I'm hungry. You want to prepare food? Eh? So you now uh, order the. Let's say you want to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or maybe you want to do appetizer. Uh, you want to do three course meal, right? Mm -hmm. uh, appetizer, main main dish, and then dessert, right? Of course, you won't prepare dessert first now. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, high priority will be what? Which one will be high priority now in these three meals that I mentioned? Appetizer, main dish, main course, and dessert. Which one will be high priority? Main dish. Main dish high priority. So medium, medium will now be which one? The set. Appetizer. Appetizer. And low will now be. Dessert. So do you understand now? Mm. Mm. <laughs> you said. Hmm. <laughs> you say? When you said, do you understand? And we echoed. Hmm. No, my nose is itching in Jerry. So, mm. so now we now have um for severity, we have five categories, right? We have critical, we have major, moderate, minor, and cosmetic. Five major categories. Mm. No. I'm going to be putting it in the document though. 
Purchase twelve. Buy. Medium. Low. Sensitivity. Critical. Major. Has anyone been able to get through to for me? Hello. Hello. Has anyone been able to get through to for me? Okay, yeah, I tried calling her. She said her network was bad that she was trying to connect the last time I spoke to her. So now, when you have a bug, right? Mm -hmm. When you have the bug, are you guys following? Are you guys listening? Yeah, there's a background noise. Mm. It is that volume. So you see these two I paint I highlighted critical and major. Mm. Yeah. Mm? Yes. They are high. Mm? They are high. Water delivery issue. Sorry, hold on. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes. Uh, uh, Femi, your background is very noisy. Mm, sorry. So this critical major, right? They are classified under high. Moderate is medium. Minor cosmetic, they are low. Or minor can be low, and cosmetic is just maybe you will do it or will not do it. Do you understand? The reason why I'm doing that is that when you have I, are you with me? HP yes. and HS. Hmm? It means this particular item is a must work on. Drop every other thing and work on it. Do you understand? Hello. Yes. HP high priority than HS. I high severity. Mm. High severity. Okay. High priority, high severity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Caro. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, no problem. No only. Are you with me? Yes. So we have HPHS. We have 
HP MS. We have HP LS. We have are you with me? Yes. Yes. MP HS. We have MP MS. We have MP LS. We now have LP HS. Of LP S. Yes. We have LP. In fact, this LP LP is cosmetic. Yes. Basically, it's low priority. Sorry, LP LS. Low priority, low severity. Cosmetic. Yes. So HPHS is the very critical item that needs to be worked on. You understand? Yes. Very critical. HP critical. And next one. Next one will be what can I use? What can I use? What can I use? I power it to see. That can be medium or oh, oh, let's see. It depends on the scenario for the the nature of mm. so um i don't know how to classify this right but let me give you an example mm? an example is it is of high priority but low severity hmm? it is not stopping your work the functionality is still fine but maybe user experience box hmm? can we say is okay let me give you this example and you tell me whether it's major or moderate are you with me yes. so on a website you want to buy on an e-commerce website right you have a button that says proceed to cut mm? this button is functional mm? but it's meant to be the on the lower right hand side of the screen or the upper right hand side of the screen do you understand yes. it can be up it can be down but on the right side of the screen but however you are now seeing it in the middle of the screen are you with me? Yes. Or maybe it is displaced somehow. It's not looking okay. It's still a functional button, but it's not looking okay. Maybe the proceed to cut, that name of button, proceed to cut, was not well placed, right? And the button too was not well placed. It is low severity because it is not impacting the business. Do you understand? But it is still yes. a bug because yes. user experience will be, will be affected. Mm. so severity severity is impact on business right like we said mm. 
So it is not impacting the business. That's why it is of low severity, but it is still a bug that needs to be worked on. Do you understand? Yes. So is that a major or a moderate? It's, it's, it's a moderate or low priority. It's even moderate or low priority. So is our high priority? Is that is a high priority bug? Um, moderate severity, low severity, high priority or low severity. But with the example that I gave now, is it major or moderate? Okay. Mm. Okay, in terms of what is it in terms of parity or the, the effect the overall effect not even effect now we are trying to put place them okay. very critical okay. critical okay okay the severity uh. mm. the severity is minor is minor ha. you see it's minor, minor moderate. Uh. <laughs> Oh, no, my no. Hello, Chief. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, my friend, So let's see. I moderate. Are you with me? Okay. You don't have much time. So, medium priority but high severity. Or oh, I would say, I'll call this a major. I'll call this high moderate. Mm. Hello, guys. Are you there? Good. In terms of critical or non critical, okay. So now, when you have items, right, in the I moderate to very critical. These are items that should be worked on pronto. You, you, mo you cannot close out a project if these items, right, have not been cleared. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? If these yeah. items have been cleared, you cannot close a project, a test project. You understand? So now it's now yeah. dependent on you if you want these two to be among them before you can close the project but these other ones you can defer them mm -hmm. this this one yes. in particular is an en enhancement this year enhancement mm -hmm. then postponed postponed these ones can be postponed these ones can be postponed or you can add this low moderate from a uh, uh, medium medium priority low severity you can add it you understand to to postpone but you can say this one's now from medium priority to medium uh, medium priority medium severity to high priority high severity should be cleared out before you can close out the project do you understand mm -hmm. yeah so suspension criteria and resumption criteria resumption requirements so now this 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 in particular speaks to in what scenario can we suspend the test are you with me yes 
in what scenario can we suspend the test when let me ask you let me just ask you that in what scenario do you think we can suspend the test based when on the bug when when what and the bug is fixed no suspend we are suspending tests okay okay suspending okay that's based, based, on on based on what we have here if it's of um if it's if it's not if it's minor maybe low moderate and cosmetic low when it's low moderate and cosmetic that is when you should suspend no okay, okay. that's when 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 you've not been able to finalize or when 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 it's a critical uh critical, first under the critical and uh, might need to request re in order to suspend maybe pend it then you now commence commence the test all over again i think when it's high when it's of when it's very critical when it's critical when when the defect is critical and you need to get to the root cause and having having conducted your your the test you can't unravel it might need to pause append it and suspend it and start the test all over Hmm. How about you, Mudupe? What scenario would fall under suspension criteria? Um, what, what did you say now? What scenario? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm listening. You said when should it, when will the test be sus suspended? I heard, but you said something else. I think what scenario would fall under suspension criteria? Um, I think when it's um critical um for parity when it is very high and mm. not yielding results you know it takes suspension okay i'm coming so when uh, when we have critical defects what else and um, when the results um when the impact when, when the impact can can um affect when the impact can affect the business you know can mm -hmm, affect mm -hmm. the overall overall state of the business or the enterprise yes yes, yes. but i want you to think of uh what's it called now scenarios like mm -hmm. what can make what are the critical issues that can make me say Oh, okay, this item uh it falls under this suspension criteria. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's a functional, a functional when 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 the functional uh, aspects or is it has to do with the functionality of the app of the AUC, then you need to mm -hmm. test you need to go by it. All, all those fall, all those who fall under critical critical defects look at why i wrote here now mm -hmm. i said environmental issues mm -hmm. when i said environmental issues when when the test environment that you're meant to test on is down you can't access it you can't test mm -hmm. you understand yes. yes so now this critical defect and showstopper issues they fall under the same same family so this critical def defect right can lead to showstopper do you know what showstopper is no okay for example e-commerce that's an e-commerce uh, example that i did i said the button is functional right but the placement yeah. is wrong now that okay. e-commerce e let's now say the button is not functional hmm? okay. you cannot perform something you want to perform showstopper yeah it's critical and it's a showstopper you cannot proceed that's why it's show stopper. It is stopping a show. It is stopping an activity. Yes, the next, the next page. Yes, you cannot, you cannot go forward. 
that's a showstopper. You cannot go forward. So then okay. we now. Have... Okay, that's an yeah. example. The e-commerce app yet. Okay, what if um the okay make payment button now um it's the feature is responding yeah, but the person is unable to make payments and maybe um that that particular um uh, session is just loading is just rolling. In. Okay, like a submit button. No, so the like, submit button, for to, instance, is a feature, yeah. For example, you're, you're trying to click a submit button or that will take you to another page and it's not functional, it's not active at all. Okay. Can it, can it? Mm, it's not active, yes, it's a showstopper. Can you do anything with it? Nothing. Yes, yeah, nothing. Mm. Yeah, it's a showstopper. So next one, we have resource constraints like maybe you have a project that is meant to be delivered in the so-so period but you are the only you are the only qa you're the only qa that is that is working on it so it's a resource constraint you don't have enough resources or resources might not necessarily be human right resources can be can be equipment do you understand maybe be you were given a two two gig laptop to work on mm. Mm. do you know how, you know the impact of that right yeah it's very really low yeah so, so resources can be human it can be tools to work with mm. so next one is regulatory compliance requirement so for example now <laughs> good regulatory compliance requirements there's something that happened of recent i don't know if you guys knew about it cbn right did you hear anything that, that occurred with cbn <laughs> where they revoked some 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 uh, financial institutions license I hope, hope they are not MFBs, microfinance bank. Yes, microfinance banks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah, you get it. They revoked their licenses. So now, compliance, regulatory compliance requirements. That definitely will put a stop. If any, if anybody is building anything. That is related mm. to any of these microfinance banks. Mm. It will it will put a suspension on that test project. Mm. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Yes. Mm. It will it will suspend that project. Mm. Mm. Then risk mitigation. So risk mitigation can be uh, unforeseen threats arise during testing such as data breaches security vulnerabilities or safety concerns which will definitely suspend testing until the risks are assessed and mitigated appropriately so do you see uh, things that can lead to what's it called now to to critical to suspension yeah to suspension But I want to ask a question. If you are trying to maybe test an app or develop an app, mm -hmm. and these other guys are the other, the, the hackers, mm -hmm. they're having something parallel. That by the time, maybe, okay, by the time you develop, it's, it's fully developed and it's working. When this hacker starts infiltrating, or don't you. Is it not going to boil back? Is it not still going to come back to the table of, of testers? Like if if you get infiltrated by hackers, right? I'm I'm trying to look at the in terms of quality, in terms of performance. I think won't will, will testers be will they be involved in when it has to do with security? You know, for example, now let's use this uh, this um, uh, a bank app. Whereby 
hackers are trying to you know infiltrate into this the, the functionalities at the end of the day if maybe there's still going to be like a security a what's it called and what when we when, when build a security around okay that has to do with networking okay it might not be the hard okay that, that may, okay. security testing okay okay it might, it might not be okay i cast might not really go after app. we might actually go after the network of maybe of banks and all those okay um, not necessarily uh, hmm. what you said now not necessarily breach mm. breach of data data breach can be due to hacking hmm. imagine a bank a bank app, a bank app now and they get access to get access to customers data hmm. they will be able to scam them now yes yes hmm. 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 Or is it not possible for them to to talk? when it has to do with this end-to-end -end testing or this integration testing integration whereby can't hackers come in between two modules? There's also there's also security testing during integration test. Okay. There's also uh, what's it called integration. There's also security test during integration test so when you are performing api tests um, i don't think we can touch api tests today so during api testing right you also need to take note of the 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 uh, url you are calling hmm. you need to take note of the url you are calling is it secured like now if you want to browse now or, or go to your browser any website that you open just click on that search box you see that it is written HTTPS. Yes. It means that the URL is secured. But if you are testing anything and it is showing you HTTP, it means that site is not secured and hackers can, can have access to it. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. So that's that about suspension criteria. Then for resumption criteria, it's basically speaking to everything that I mentioned above. So critical defects, issue resolution, environmental issues, environmental restoration, uh, resource constraints, res resource availability, regulatory compliance requirements, compliance alignment, uh, risk mitigation, risk mitigation, and approval and sign off. So those are our those are our resumption criteria then i thought i've taught you guys about test completeness right so now test completeness right 100 percent test coverage all manual test cases executed all open bugs are fixed or will be fixed in the next release do you understand this all open bugs are fixed or oh, will be fixed. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it falls between what I taught you guys here in this HPHS and MPMS. That falls under it. So you can further define the bugs that are to be fixed and bugs that will be fixed in next release. Then our test deliverables. So not everything might be applicable to you, but test deliverables, test plan test cases, RTM, bug reports, your test strategy will be in test plan. Then test metrics, that's your test report. Your customer sign off. Do you understand? After test completeness is test report. No, you remember test monitoring and control, right? Test monitoring and control. Yeah. No. Ah. Have we do? Oh, you Ah, open the PowerPoint. Let me check. Uh, 
first one which will now test control. Go to after seven principles of software testing. Test process. Okay. You've not seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Comprising of actual, yes, 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 yes. Yes, huh. one. Huh. Don't talk that. Don't talk, don't talk that thing again. No. Huh. Huh. No. Ah, you now even said no with confidence. I was almost even convinced. That maybe I was this though. Ah. Huh. Very dangerous. Test one. Okay. So that's your test matrix. Like you are giving test reports and monitoring the test. That's what is as we think here in test metrics. So that's that those are that on your test deliverables. Then resource and environmental environment needs. So testing tools, requirements, tracking tool. That's the RTM. What document are you going to be using? Excel or you're using Jira? Bug tracking to Jira, automation to Cypress. Let's see, Excel or Jira. Bug tracking to Excel or Jira. Automation tools. We have several. We have Selenium. We have Test Sigma. We have Cypress. We have Lambda Test. Right. But you pick only one, you are not picking several when you are doing automation too. You pick only one. Right. Test environment. What are the requirements for your test environment? Okay, we want Windows Windows 10 and above. Office. What, what is the latest office now, self? Are you guys there? Yes. What's the latest uh, office? Like yeah. oh. Hello. Hello. What's yeah. the latest uh, office? It's not 2021. It's what? I think 2021 is okay. Yeah. 2021 and above. Is that when I think that's 2022? Mm -hmm. 2017. It's 2019. 2019. Oh, that's just that. I don't think you need this MS exchange. Microsoft Teams. That will be inside. Uh, hardware requirement, you understand? Um, Minimum, minimum four gig RAM, five hundred HDD. So do you understand? Yes. I can send you this document so that you guys can. You guys can have the updated.
So we have remember what I said read yeah. up on uh, agile, agile and why it is used. So let, I'll send this document to Moduka to share it to everybody. Okay. Yeah. So do you guys have any question? Yes. Okay. Well, when are we having? When are we starting API? That's next week. Definitely next week. But you guys should try and finish up on the assignment too. Yes. Because as I'm teach, as I'll be teaching you guys API tests, I'll give I'll give you another another website. But this time around, you'll be creating test plan. I will be creating test case document while doing API testing. Well, so any questions, please? No. Okay. But yeah. that's this issue. Is it in general or it is up trust issue? I think, it's, I think it's with up trust. Okay. okay thank you very much guys do have a lovely week ahead yeah thank you too bye-bye bye 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 Okay. Uh, oh, I'm 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 what about you? I tell you, it's less weird. Just to, I'm sitting there just to put. Don't eat jam. Put that inside plate. What about plate? Put the other one. Put the other one. Put the other one. Put the other one. Didn't I tell you not to give him? It's not my business. Tell the legend for that go. At the domain, just just shut. I don't like all this rubbish. A good mattress, okay. I'm always saying, I'm always put it in a place, go and just no plates. I'm, I'm not on bread, see, like. what hey, these two for me, jams. Hey. I just want to put like three, four bread, slices of bread, see their brains in fine now. The monkey at school, then just come on, my she kill it, kill it. I don't know if I'm going to fry. She was a brush, don't burn her own carpet. This one, while the brush you. One, two, three, four. No, pardon
What are we doing? 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 Thank mm-hmm. you. 